With the budget that I live for 500, that was actually for two people. And I know you guys, some guys, some of you guys may think it's hard to be true, but it's very true because it was me and Kay. Hey guys, so we're here, Street One Bon Fasha High Street. But they're going to see what we can get. Let's go get some food. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully, they got something we can eat. Let's go and see. Okay. <laughs> Alright, she's here. She's here now. Okay, check, yeah. You could check us out on Grab and Food Panda. Ah, they have Grab and Food Panda. Do you have okay. any Anatol? Like uh, Facebook page or Instagram? The Daily Cut. The same. Ah, the Daily Cut. Thank you, enjoy. Alright, thank you, thank you. The Where's corner. the phone? This one. Oh, you have it on <laughs> Ready. Let's go digging. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I hope. I've tried this before. This is our uh, Cafe Mediterranean. I know this is good. Let me dig into this here. This is the... Uh, Daily Cut. Daily Cut. And what's this here? Oh, see, they got this sweet potato. Let me check a little. Mm-hmm. A little bit of rice and pudding. Pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. How was it though? Good. Let me try the chicken. Chicken thighs. Mmm. Salty? Mm -mm. It's good. That's really good. I like it. And then too, even though it's healthy, it has flavor. Okay. Oh, the whole dish has flavor. It's delicious. Hey guys, it's the Black Filipino TV. And I just want to thank you for watching another video. Now today, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. And the reason why I say that is because we're going to talk about how much does it cost to live in the Philippines. Now this here, it's like the main term, you, main, the main search terms when you want to move to the Philippines, you, so you select how much does it cost to live in the Philippines. So now we're going to get right into that. And I'm gonna give you a cheaper version. That's in, in that version I've lived. That's when I first came here, and also how I'm living now, and even in between. So I'll give you everything I have off the top of my head. Okay, this is not rehearsed, so it's coming off the top of my head, and I'm gonna give it to you right now. When I first came here, and I like to use that as an example, and that's and I, I I've also used it, and I've said it in my past videos just now recently when I said how much I paid when I first came to the Philippines. Now, when I first came to the Philippines, I only paid 7,000 for my place. It's, that's only $140. I know it's very inexpensive, and that's what I paid. And believe it or not, I actually lived out in the Philippines when I first came for only $500 a month. Now, I know you're thinking, wow, that's crazy, but it's true, and I'll give you the, the exact numbers. Now. That's what you call living like a Filipino, and that's what I did. So what I did for my rent, I paid 7000 for my rent, and that was a fully furnished apartment with just me and Kay. You know, one bedroom, we had a, uh, a, 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 a living room, uh, a small dining room, a kitchen, okay, our own little wash area. All right, so I paid 7000 about $140. At the time, it was a little more than that, but I, that's what I paid, I paid 7000 and then I paid around 7,000 for my uh, electric. So with the 7,000 for the electric, that's around another 140, then you add in food. I only ate vegan food pretty much when I came, because that's when I was full vegan when I first came to the Philippines. So I didn't spend much on food, and I would say with food and everything included. Also even having fun, you know, everything came up to about $500. Now, I actually didn't live like I wanted to live yet, meaning I didn't live like I lived in the States. You know, I just had the bare minimum. I, I did have fun. Okay, I, w I didn't really travel yet and move around the Philippines. Now, 
when I started traveling and moving around the Philippines, the cost of living got much higher, okay? Because I had definitely had the budget for my travel. Now, when you're budgeting for travel, for me, I say if you want to have fun, I feel as, as, a, as, a, as a foreigner coming over here and with the 7,000 islands here in the Philippines, you should definitely want to experience uh, as much of them as you can and also have fun. And also, I think it's great to get out on the beach. You know, a lot of guys, they don't like going island hopping. Me, I kind of love it because when you're out there on those islands, you have time to think. And, you know, when you're around that water and, uh, you know, you think and things just flow to you and it come na everything comes naturally when you're around water. So I love being around the water. <coughs> and that's what I get now when I go around water. And I'm actually missing that, you know. So I, I feel being in the Philippines, you definitely need to be around water. And, um, you know, you want to budget maybe a little bit more than that. Of course, you want to then at that point, you're talking around 1,000 to 1,500 to even 2,000 a month. Okay, if you really want to travel, I'm talking uh, traveling all the time on a regular basis and uh, going to show as many islands as you can and going to see as many islands as you can. Um, you know, me, of course, a vlog, I'm a vlogger. That's why I said show. But, of course, you may not want to show that. But that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to continue to go to different places. You know, when I first came, I actually kept it light. I went to, I went to um, Puerto Galera a lot. I went there twice. And then after, that's when I started to travel around and go to more places. So, you know, um, of course, you'll find yourself when you come to the Philippines, you're definitely going to want to move. Because right now, uh, things are locked down. I can't wait to move again. I can't wait to move around again. And so I'm going to go, I'm going to have a high budget. You know, I may end up spending like around 1000 or 2000 a month on travel because I have to bulk load everything. Because right now we're going into the, uh, we're going in past the summer season and we're going into rainy season. And rainy season in the Philippines, it's not good for me because, you know, uh, like every other week it's just raining all the time. And then maybe one week it'll rain five, six days a week, seven days a week. And then when you think it's a little bit sun, it's not really sun because it's raining. Actually, when me and Kay got married, uh, uh, it wasn't rainy season, but it, it was raining a lot around that time. And we had to face that, you know. So when we were in uh, Puerto Galera, that's where we went after we got married. And when we went, you know, uh, the raining started. Like right now it's May, but the raining hasn't started yet. So, you know, as soon as we're able to, we definitely want to get out. Now, also, one thing that I had to budget for as well I had to budget for my internet, so that's why right now I pay more, okay? But if you want to do like I did, or if you don't mind living a backpacker lifestyle, I didn't live the backpacker lifestyle when I paid 500 but if you want to live the backpacker lifestyle and also live somewhere deep in the province, you can definitely get away with uh, 500 or less, okay? A lot of guys choo will choose to say, oh, well, no, you can't do it, you can't make that happen. Of course, if you have kids here and the kids are going to school, Okay, your budget's going to be much bigger because you have to pay for school. But if that's not the case, I didn't have any kids here going to school. My son is in the States. I didn't have to worry about that. So, of course, I had a much less budget. I'll use me as an example because, you know, I've done it and I live here. But um, when my budget became more, the reason why my budget was higher was because uh, the place I was living, of course, I said it before. You guys have probably seen it in my past videos. You know, it was uh, I had an infestation as, as of, of mice and also of the big size cockroaches. Okay, so I wanted to move to another place and also to a place that was more spacious and also uh, around uh, Passai area. That's where I moved to. My second place I lived to, I lived in was actually the Verti residence residences, and uh, it's it's in Passai. It's right over there by the train station. So when I moved there. I was in a happening happening area of town. Now, when I moved there, I paid 18,000 a month. Okay, so my budget went up. Uh, at that point, I was paying 360 for rent. Okay, for my travel, I was closer to, I was closer to, I was closer to the um, to the pier. Uh, you know, when you go over out to um, Batangas, the Batangas Pier, that's where you travel out to Kays Provinces, and that's when I started traveling more. So my traveling budget actually went up. So that's when I found my budget being uh, around 1300 a month to 1500 a month. Reason why is uh, I traveled a lot more. The rent get up too. Yeah, and, and the rent was higher. Well, the rent was about $360 at that time. 360? But, 
Yeah, d yeah, I think that's what. 360, yeah, eighteen thousand is around three, three sixty. Yeah, that's two hundred sixty only. So, um, you know, I paid I paid for that, and then my traveling budget went up. You know, that's when I started traveling to Thailand because I I want to live life. You know, that's my thing. I don't suggest you guys to come to the Philippines and just uh just die. You know, I say that all the time, and I even say it a lot in my live streams. Check out my live streams. I have it every. Every Sunday in the U.S. and every Monday in the Philippines. But check it out. But I talk about that, um, you know, travel. You know, don't just come here and be dead in the water. A lot of guys come, come here and do that, you know. And especially older guys. They come here and just uh, stay in the province with their lady. And they don't go anywhere. And that's all they do. I mean, if you don't mind that, live that and you're fine with that, that's cool. But I do suggest, you know, upgrading your life as far as traveling and getting out and seeing the world especially with this pandemic the way it is you know you definitely want to get out and see the philippines before you can as far as upgrading your travel budget i think that's extremely important but other than that if you're one of those guys that just want to live the same life every day and you don't mind you know and, and you're a minimalist and you're a uh, and you want to live the backpacker lifestyle type of life you know you can actually live here for 500 even under but if you're a guy that wants to get around and travel a little bit, I would say a thousand is a nice budget to have. Because with that thousand, you know, you're gonna be saving up for your travel. So, and, and I do that a lot too. So say if I wanna make my budget a thousand and I wanna save for my travel, okay? I'll just save maybe 500 for a month for travel, okay? And keep stacking it up, stacking it up, stacking it up. And then say if I wanted to go to Thailand, and, and like for instance, I went to Thailand for a month and also I went to uh, Thailand, I went to uh, Malaysia, and also Singapore. Now, when I took that trip, okay, that was a great experience for me, and I'm happy that I saved up to do it. Now, I did have to save a little bit to do it. Wasn't a long savings, though. You know, the savings that it took was maybe two months of savings, and I was ready to go. You know, so um, that's the thing, guys. When you, when you come out here and you change your life up, okay, you'll be living for cheaper so you'll have more of a budget to do the things that you want to do in life and need to do in life. And I think traveling should definitely be one of them. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I don't want to seem like I'm one of those guys trying to school you on a way to live your life. And I'm not. So if you just want to come here and live for less, you can live for less and not spend much money in the Philippines. Okay. And when you get here, you'll notice that the Filipinos are happy. Okay, they're, they live with less. It's funny, I was watching a documentary the other day. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, yesterday I seen this. And it showed how people in like the 1930s were living off of like uh, $10 a day, right? And that's the same thing now in the Philippines. You know, Philippines, $10 a day is actually a decent salary per day. And that's what people are still making. So, you know, they're living like that right now here. So if they're living like that, you can live like that too. You just have to find a ways to do it. With the budget that I live for 500, that was actually for two people. And I know you guys, some guys, some of you guys may think it's hard to be true, but it's very true because it was me and Kay, okay? When I first came here, Kay found the apartment. Kay set everything up for me, okay? It was all situated and that happens and I'll let you guys know um, just make sure your lady has some know-how and also make sure you put some work in before you come Okay, and, and search around the area and then when you come to look around the area as well to make sure in case your lady is not uh, You know not used to navigating on her own because that can happen if you marry a younger Filipina So you definitely want to make sure that's situated before you come But if, you, if your lady is capable willing and able, you know, then you can have her help you set things up and have it all ready for you before you come. And uh, you know, that's what happened for me and I got lucky that I had uh, I had Kay and she was able to do that for me. Now, and guys, that's the bonus. I did live like this for two people. So it can be done. So when you come to the Philippines, no need to worry, okay? You have to look at it like this. You know, I said one, well, I said 500 a month. So I know a lot of you guys, you say to me, hey Jay, I make 3,800 or I make 3,000 dollars a month i'm retiring on that is that enough oh it's more than enough okay you'll you'll be able to uh have that money spend that even invest in a business here 
and not even not invest. I mean, you know, it's not smart to invest in certain businesses while you're in the Philippines, and you'll see a lot of videos on that. But you still can invest. You know, I mean, if you invest in something like a small business, you know, people invest in sorry, sorry stores. There's many expats that do it, and you even see vloggers that have sorry, sorry stores, and little things like that. You know, no one would even notice. You know, like there's a big there's a big stigma out here that Filipinos will see you doing that and be jealous. Don't fall for it, guys. You come out here and do what you need to do. You know, get yourself a business between yourself and your Filipina and live your life and be happy and you should be fine. I would say a safe bet is $1,000, okay, a month. All right, now $1,000 a month, you're talking only 12,000 a year. So if you have 12 to 13,000 a year, and I say 12 to 13, I say 15,000, because you never know what can happen. Say if there's an emergency or something happens, you definitely want to make sure you cover it. So 15,000 a year is a good number to have being in the Philippines, all right? Now, you may not need that. It may only be 12 and you should be fine, okay, because you can live for very inexpensively. And I wanted to make that number short because I don't want to, you know, overprice things for you guys. I want to let you know, it because it, it, it is possible and I have did I have did it before, so um, I'm letting you guys know and it's the truth. And I and, and and the crazy thing about it is I did it living in Manila. So if I can do it living in Manila, especially if you're going to a province area, okay, you can definitely do it. You can definitely live for very cheap. It's possible because it's possible in Manila, so it's possible everywhere around the Philippines. So guys, um, stay happy, and um, also. I hope you guys uh, take this video in stride and I hope it helps you guys to make a smarter decision. Because I, I, I think this will help you make a smarter decision. And say for some of you guys that want to plan and maybe come here with twenty to 30000 If you come here with 30000 you're definitely set for two years. So keep that in mind. If you got fifty, okay, now you're looking at three to four years, all right? Because that's really all you're going to need. So guys, it doesn't take much, okay? You want to come here for life, of course you need a lot more. But, um, you know, if, you, if you're in a pension or if you, not even just on a pension, you know, you don't mind working a little bit, okay? I've actually worked in the Philippines and not worked here physically. I worked online. That's possible as well. You want to know more information about that? I have a program coming soon. If you guys want to join, I'll definitely give you some information how to help you. But all that being said, guys, I just want to thank you for watching, okay? But please like and subscribe. Also, if you're from the States, all right, I dropped... I dropped my, uh, not my merch, actually my, the brand, okay, Fox Tonomy, all right, and what it means, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about what it means. Now, Fox Tonomy is the full state of feeling independent, and the reason why it was created, I didn't create that name, but it was created because of college kids, you know, when college kids are leaving home, they're 18 years old, they feel like they're independent, but their parents are still paying all of their bills, and still paying for the college. So of course they're not independent. It's the same thing now in the world. You know, a lot of people look at the Philippines and they'll say, oh, well, you know, that country is a third world country. And they feel because they're in the US or Canada or even UK, you know, they're safe. All right, well, in, in, in these days, no one is safe and no one is independent. Okay, you're still under that country rule. Okay, and do, do not hurt your life for that kind of thinking, all right? And I'll say that, and I'm gonna make a video about that too because you have family and you have friends that'll say, oh, well, no, don't go to that third world country. The women are like this, the people are like this, but don't believe it. Filipinos are some of the happiest people on the face of the earth. And the reason why they like that is because they used to live with less. So come here, join the Filipino culture, live with less, and you'll be much happier in your life. Thank you guys, and be sure to watch the next video I got coming. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.